Greetings folks, this is an interesting little wing that showed up recently on the Banggood website. It's the, what is it called, CK wing, EPP, carbon fibre, 840mm wingspan, triangle wing. It's a kit, very much a kit. I'll pull all the pieces out, there's the centre pod, uh, winglets, wing halves. And we have a little bit more carbon fibre strips, plastic uh, fuselage parts, and some more carbon fibre reinforcing. Let's have a bit of a talk about the specs. Uh, so the kit version is around about 55 US. It's that tough EPP, has slots cut for the spars and uh, servo wires I guess. Pre-hinged ailerons, uh, servo slots, and that's about all really. It is very, very simple. Some specs, big wide wings, large onboard areas, grooves in the fus fuselage and wings have been carved already. You can see them there. And space for battery flight controller, ESC, things like that. EPP 840mm wingspan, fuselage 570mm. Uh, recommended motor is the 2204 or 2205, around about 2000 2500 kV. 3S 2200 or 4S 1500. 30 amp ESC, 9 to 14g metal gear servos, that's good suggestions if you're going to uh, rag the nuts, then you need good quality metal gear servos. Propeller 5 to 8 inch, and uh, that's about it. There is no instruction manual at all, so it's really up to you how you put it together. Let's have a look at the extra bits. So these are plasticky. Top and bottom has a CG marking there. It has a slot for an FPV camera in there. Carbon strips, they're about six by one millimeter, I would say. Something like that, nice and sturdy. Push rods and push rod adjusters. Various nuts and bolts. This is a sort of a load spreader that goes on the aileron, which is great because these sorts of ailerons can be very flexy. Okay, I went away and had a closer look at the photos on the website and it gives you a better idea of where things fit. I'll just explain them to you. Just a little thing to note on the winglets, there's reinforcing uh, spars all the way through to keep it stiff, very nice touch. This little bit of foam goes on the bottom, something like that to keep it off, up off the ground I guess. The, these two plasticky pieces are top and bottom for the fuselage and the motor mount clicks in together with them like that uh, to give a nice solid motor mount there. There we go, so that's how it works. These pieces here are a uh, damped camera mount to go on the nose, HD camera like a run cam or a Mobius. This is a cover for the FPV gear or the ESC and sort of slots underneath there and screws into those bits there. This is a, like a battery hatch I guess. Alright, so we know what we're doing now, let's get to building. I'm still trying to work out how to put all these things together with the provided screws and bolts and things. They don't seem to fit anything. These tiny little holes here in this thicker fiberglass composite whatever it is it's absolutely impossible to screw these into the to the holes then that somehow gets screwed into that and into that again it's just absolutely impossible to screw through those holes and into these holes as well it's just wrong design i, th I think i'm gonna have to just make up my own way of mounting these things on the basic uh construction method is okay that's all just glued onto here uh, which glue will I use? I guess something like Yuhu Pour or even epoxy maybe.
So that got up to about 35 amps flat out. Got plenty of headroom. There we go, it's all together. All up weight was 570 grams with a Mobius on the nose and a 1303S right up in the nose. Balances the CG. Uh, there are some marks on that bottom bit here for the CG, which is about 200 from the nose, 200 millimeters back from the nose. I have uh, Tower Pro MG90 Metal Gear servos in there from Banggood. It's quite a nice build, I didn't mind it really. There are a few bolts and screws left over that I just don't know what they're for. The camera mount on the front, I couldn't work out how they meant it to be built. I've actually drilled out these holes here and the ones on the bottom plate and sort of hot glued some foam between the top plate and the bottom plate. Then we can uh, get a screwdriver through those holes and unbolt it and take it off so you can uh, muck around with the FPV camera in there. Video transmitter on the top there. ESC and receiver in the back. I've cut away a little bit of the foam so that it's not showing in the FPV view. Uh, you won't have to do that if you use one of the bigger lenses that poke out the front a bit more, but that's reasonably well protected. That's not too bad. I'm using a, a T-Motor F80 motor, 45 amp, amp ESC. It's not going to be a super high performance wing with the, the foam and the sort of thick trailing edge. Uh, we'll see anyway. It might be fantastic. The push rods are a bit dodgy, they're sort of just clamped on with a, a screw going through plastic there and um, uh, they're going to strip pretty easily I think. Here's the mixing I did on my Tyrannus, just to show you how to mix up a Elevon mix. I'm using an X4R receiver, uh, I've got the voltage on the Eagle 2 Pro so I don't need voltage telemetry which is good. Room for a flight control board. It'll all be pretty tight in here with the ESC and the, the receiver all close together. You might want to put them out on the wing somewhere like that so that you can have the flight controller in the middle there. Um, but yeah, for a basic setup, this, this will do me fine. So that's it for this assembly and review video. Next video up, we'll take it out for a test fly. Thanks for watching.